How you feeling, Leon? How you feeling, Nam? Um, no. Better? Yeah. How you feeling? It's dark in here, right? <laughs> You're more handsome? Mm -hmm. We've all been sick. Luke has been sick for a long time. And he gets better and he gets sick again. But no, really I hope so. He still had a cough last night. My mom went, because we've been all been sick and my mom didn't want to get sick, she went and got a room at the forest. She stayed there, no? She's going to stay there until I think she leaves now. <laughs> but we have to go to get her and take her to immigration. To get her to extend her passport or her visa. What did you do? Hmm? You use special cream? Can I tell you when I'm going? Two weeks. He's doing something to his face. I think it starts with snail and it ends with white. <laughs> snail white. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's something Asian people like to use snail white. Yeah, it looks good. Is that snail white? Yeah. <laughs> it's officially monsoon season, which means what? What? Monsoon season. Monsoon season means like storm, right? windy, storm, rain. lots of rain. There's going to be lots of flooding in Koh Samui. There's always lots of flooding every yeah. November, October. Yeah, like the wind is more windy, the wave is big. The, wa the, the sea the water sea. is not clean. You can't swim in the sea, it gets really dirty. I mean, you could, I guess. Let me change my face. Look more light. Mm-hmm. Love you. Love you too. What is this Swat wants me to eat? Oh, I buy last night in one pick or two. Where do you buy this? From the Lissom, Thai Lissalong. The Thai restaurant, how much did it cost? A little bit. So three dollars for some fresh vegetables, omelet, um, cha om omelet, one piece, piece of fish, and, and some one spicy sauce. Here's all our clothes hanging out to dry. Hey, how you doing? Leanna gets scared of the rain. It's okay. Stickers on you, Leon. Look what I made for the family beef stew with potatoes and carrots. Do you like that, Luke? Yeah. Luke has lost a lot of weight, so we're trying to put meat back on his bones. Right, Leon? I'm, I think I'm losing weight, so I'm going to play with something. Yeah? Have some beef stew, okay? Okay. You said this was delicious yesterday. Here, come over here. Let's do it Thai style. You're just nesting in the house. How was that? I hardly ever make beef stew, but it was such a sick day yesterday that I had the beef in the freezer. So I. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. It makes me so. Doesn't it make you so happy when your kids like your food? It's so good. A nice big piece of mm. beef. So good. Yeah. Leon is the picky one. Mom, do you like the beef stew? Yeah. I like them. scared. Yeah, you can eat with pasta, die. Mommy. You want to make this for like dinner? You want to for dinner too? We maybe make it with pasta, okay? Pasta? No, Macaroni? this is no, just this. You like, like it with the rice? Same thing. The same thing. Or with some polenta? Beef. I want phone. Do Listen, it. please watch phone. Do it again. Please watch phone. Okay, I'll watch phone. Oh, okay. I say no. Hey! You want to use my phone? Yes. What do you say? Cook a man. Say sweaty cup. Sweaty cup. Say please, mommy. Please, mommy. Give me a kiss. 
Okay, you can use my phone. Ah, you wiped it off. You wiped it off. No, 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 no. Are you a good boy? Uh uh, no. Banana! Watts cutting Gigi some mango. Gigi loves mango. You're so good at cutting it too. Watts taking Gigi some mango. You're so nice. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone, gone. Mama's supposed to go to immigration, but it was closed. <laughs> Why do you need to go to immigration? Um, because I'm going to overstay my visa by two days, and I don't want to have trouble. And an extension. Extension, yeah. When you arrive in Thailand, you get a 30-day visa, and I always overstay it, so I need an extension. And I went to get my passport stamp. And this is I, the last time. Last the last time, time she came. And so they went, I went to stamp my passport and they wouldn't stamp it because they said there was no place. And it was, was only a spot little spot. Right it it wasn't big enough. They told me, go to Bangkok and get a new passport. So well, we were freaking out. out. They were, there, they said go to Sartani. I don't know. We didn't know what Bangkok, we were going to yeah. do. All kinds of stuff. But I had an appointment with my friend to meet my friend here. And she's married to a Thai man. She's been here like nine years. And I had to cancel my appointment. I was like, we're freaking out. We don't. I'm having problems with immigration. But she knew someone in immigration at the very top and we had to go to his office and beg him for mercy but it's all about who you know no so she had her husband call in and like tell him that we're coming and we had to be there like please can you help and then he did something and then we went back to the immigration he called them and said you stamp her pass where you find a spot and they did but they were not happy about it and by the skin was it skin of your skin teeth? of our teeth we got we it got done. your and but now you have a new passport right all new passport i got the extra thick one the 50 pages so there shouldn't be any trouble stamping it today but the thing about that mom was that god's hand was in it god's hand was in it because if i hadn't had that appointment with my friend celine if I hadn't canceled that appointment and told her why, I wouldn't have ever known that she knew the way to That's get right, the... That's because you told her. My mom said I told her to get a passport. Yeah. So she was, I knew what to do, and she told us. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have asked anyone. I wouldn't have known who to ask. Yep. Let's see. Let's see my leg. Gigi fell. I fell because I'm clumsy. I'm very clumsy. Be careful and tie. Tie. Streets because it's bumpy. Mom yeah. made some pasta to go with our beef stew. Pasta. pasta. Hi, darling. Mom, you like the beef stew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lila, are you feeling better? Are you feeling better, Lila? <coughs> how, how is it, Mom? Yeah. Hey, don't yell like that, okay? Hey. How is it, Mom? Well, for four months. Watt likes to give us fresh coconut. Mmm, it's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired today. I'm still recovering from my cold. And Watt realized that I was late going to immigration. I'm supposed to go every three months to go just like sign a paper that's saying that our address is still the same. Is that right, Watt? So I was like, Watt, just go for me. And you went for me, right? 
And you always cut the line, don't you? Yeah, so many like more than hundred people. More than a hundred people of the immigration. And when I cut the line, some for long guy like oh wow 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 yowing like why I because they sighing like ninety days you don't do much you know you have to go like different line. Uh huh. And for long they don't know. So they got mad at you. <laughs> but what did you say? His cough. Whatever is going, whatever is circulating and goes some way. That's a bad flu. It like, it lingers. And this is might be like COVID, long haul COVID or something. What do you think, Lot? A lot of people are sick. A lot of people are sick. And some more dengue starting in. Dengue fever starts. Make sure you wear that bug spray. I got, got dengue fever, fever like a couple times. One time it was so bad I had to go to the hospital. You don't want to mess with that but i keep decreeing blessings and favor over this island and there has been some real positive breakthrough changes one positive breakthrough is this weather because it's so beautiful today it just was beautiful compared to yesterday when it was so rainy and GG only has a couple more days left and the time has gone by really fast but we did get a lot done as far as she what we get, wanted to get done she got a lot of rest yeah. she got a lot of relax she was really sick you know in the beginning and then now we are all all got <laughs> sick what's funny is that when mom goes around the island or wherever when she goes around thailand she's more famous in thailand than she is in america <laughs> is that the right word famous but we were, we were just at tesco earlier today and a friend was like hey and he pointed to my mom you're famous or something right <laughs> and she loves it she won't say it that she loves it but she really thinks it's funny <laughs> I was telling them that he's skinny. Hey, how was your day? You ate a lot today? Guess what I got you. Did you have a good day? He was at, he had a month off school and today was his first day. How was it? Did you see Jacob? Yeah. Did you see Earl? Yeah. Did you see your other friends? I didn't see the girl. Guess what? I got you an ice cream cake. Really? Yeah. For my birthday. No, for your first day of school day and to help put meat back on your bones because you've been so sick and you lost so much weight. Tell, did you have a good day? Yeah. What did you do? I, you know the soccer course? You played soccer? No, not soccer. We just do some. Are you feeling better? Can you, are you feeling better that you could go swim? Yeah. Not that better. Like. You can swim? I'm not coughing a lot though. Yeah? Yeah. It's a good job. Yeah. When did Daddy get little blackberries from? Is that from our tree? Mm -hmm. Are they good? Yeah. They're okay. Back on Maynam Walking Street Road, the village road where our restaurant is, but it's closed for now. But we, I want to show you what they are building at the end of Maynam because it's so cool. It used to be this pavilion, then they tore it down like before COVID, they tore it down and they've been working on stuff, but the contractors keep leaving and they just had so many problems with it. It's been under construction for so long, but now they've restarted it and it looks like it's going to be finished soon. And look what it is. Is that chicken? What is it, Luke? It's a lighthouse. A lighthouse. It's a lighthouse, you guys. Ooh, it's windy. Wow, it's really windy right now. Look at this lighthouse that they're building. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. Let's go see Gigi. I think it's gonna be really cool, the lighthouse. I don't know if they're, I don't know, it might be a little bit dangerous if they let people walk up to the top yeah, of it. To Are there gonna, is there gonna be a fire? I don't know what the, the top. A light. But I believe that it's very prophetic for our Vietnam, our village, that Vietnam is going to be the light and of Koh Samui spiritually. Watts well, really worried that Luke is too skinny because in Thai culture it's really bad if your child is skinny, right? What do they say? 
Don't keep my toilet <laughs> <laughs> What? Here's a restaurant. It's closed for now. Here's Bobo's house. Is Bobo home? This is where Nam used to live before she came to live with us. This used to be an old raggedy shack. They built this whole new. Look at that. Uh-huh. Oh, the guy that, that didn't know what a septic tank was and then told us to just empty it out in the yard. He built that. Wow. Did he, did he build a septic tank with it? <laughs> Things are coming up here on Kosamoy. I, I asked him how much you pay for him building this house. How much it cost to build a house? Did they have to tear down the other house? So he said 80,000. 80,000. Oh. But. Like under $3,000 to build a house? Yep. He told me. I, I, I asked him. I bet they would try to charge oh, us boy. more. You know well, you're not allowed to be in the, in the negotiations. They see you, they'll charge you Yeah, but you they'll more. still see me. Not, not if I give you a quote. No, then they always up the price. They up, no. up, up, up. I remember how because they built all it. It was only two people that did build that? What do you think, Luke? So this is where Gigi has been safe for the last few days yeah. because we were all sick. Luke was so sick. I took good care of him. Look at this big pool, though. Look, Gigi has this whole pool to herself. This hotel is an old staple in our family. We've, met, we've stayed here many times. Gigi stayed here many times. The one thing they have is really hard beds, but this bed that you have for some reason isn't so hard. So get, get request room 409. And this room is only $26 a night with this own big pool. Look at that pool. Look at this whole big pool to swim in. And it's really close to Walking Street. It's really close to the restaurant. So that's what's so nice about yeah. it. That's why I like to stay here because I can just, I don't have a car, and I can walk around Main on Walking Street, go for coffee, meet my friend, and come back. You can see his cheeks are flushed. Yeah, he is starting to feel a little warm. Yeah, he won't go because he won't come over to you. Molly, I'm Leon, where are you going? Are you going to come back to America with me? If I said get on the plane, would you go? <coughs> yeah, let's go. You know who I'll else wants it. to go? Leon. <gasps> I'll take Leon and Luke one day. That'll be so much fun for me when I'm not working. You guys better eat every bite. I'm going to check up. if you've finished. Sana was going to ask me Beef stew and pasta. You love that, Luke? Every time you're sick, I'll make you beef stew. And even when you're not sick, okay? Why, you like the beef stew? You do? I never thought you would. Here's the tree house. Treehouse was one of the most popular places for expats or for anyone to come during COVID. It was always busy. I was here too, and it was really kind of fun. It was kind of, it was busy and it was really fun. A lot of people came. We all sitting around talking about COVID. And what did I do? My uh, that thing I did the quarantine. That was not fun. Thank you.
The zone I win loves American cheeseburgers. Seven months ago, he had his first burger, and he didn't like it then, but now he does. Isn't that funny? It's and mom, thing. she doesn't like cheeseburgers. She likes hamburgers. Well, I'll eat a cheeseburger too. I'm doing good. If there's no cheese on it, I'll throw it right yeah, back in their face. Awesome. I'm gonna have cheese on my cheeseburger. Did you feel like you had any breakthrough on this trip? Yeah, I'm like spiritual breakthrough. Mental, emotional, physical. No, but you physical. know what I had was mental and emotional rest. Because running a business yeah. is hard and I get really tired. I'm not, I started my business when I was like 55, and now I'm tired. We've been doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of praying, and I think we had some breakthrough. I think so too. I think you're, you've got a lot of breakthrough with the rest, amount of rest. You can go home it. and feel rejuvenated and ready to go back to work, back to the grind. I think you need to make a breakthrough in, in a, a five-year plan on what to do with the business. Well, I hope so. I want to, but I have to see. It's not easy sometimes, but I can. when all my leases end, I can be done or I can go on, whatever I want. But I think we'll you see. need to go check out our website, shopgraceandjoy.com. Oh, I'm wearing one of our new dresses. It's you, not on the website yet. It's so pretty, but right? It will be. It will yep. be. This is coming soon. Yep. And you can Spring. use my code LILY20 and get 20% off your purchases there. We're about to go into a mega mansion. Is it a mega mansion? Yes, it's so we are, big. Uh, we are so about big. to go into a mansion here in Coastal I'm sorry, Hawaii. It's sorry, up for guys, sale for 215 million baht. That's 6 million US dollars. Million? Mommy, mommy. Do you think we should buy this house? Mommy. We're so excited because we've I've never this been is, in a house like has, this in Coastal Hawaii. Someone that has this house, they're a millionaire. Hey, the yes. First of all, Daddy's already. Look at how excited Daddy is. He's walking around this place. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. By far, right? I mean, how can you compare? Look, you guys, look at this. Look at this. Do you guys love this house? I'm gonna hang out here. You went swimming in a six million dollar pool villa. <laughs> wait, wait. I wanna be in the movie theater. This is my good friend Noah. He's from the US, just like me. And he's been in Thailand for how long now? Oh man, uh, just a little over a year. Yeah. So not very long. But... And he's doing some big things, starting some businesses. Yeah. And he has a YouTube channel called Ko Noah where he shows real estate and other fun things around the island. And you can see the full tour of this amazing $6 million house on his YouTube channel. And I will have that listed at the end of this channel. Go check out that video. It's really fun and you're gonna really love it, his content. Thanks, I appreciate it, yeah. Go like and subscribe.